they, they are certainly well. Bill Keith is certainly in in the chain of of development, um, more uh, in the sense of my being aware of what he did. But uh, I uh, started playing. Well, I started playing fretted instruments um, on guitar. So I, uh, my first few years, I played just guitar. And then uh, in college, it, this was Cornell uh, in Ithaca in, in the late 60s and early 70s. So uh, there were uh, quite a number of people who were moving in that direction, uh, one of which was uh, Howie Burson, who uh, he was maybe two or three years ahead of me in development and, and I heard his style and I, I was really intrigued by it and and then Walt Koken was in the area and Walt doesn't think of himself as a melodic player but he you know in effect he sure was and uh, and then and there were there were others that most uh, you know that never really uh, pursued a professional career as a, as banjo players but but they were uh, excellent players who were local and that I heard. And so uh, right from the start, playing tunes in Clawhammer style was what I wanted to do. And uh, um, uh, I often tell this story. Um, there was, uh, uh, in the early 70s, there was kind of a, a weekly jam session at a place called the Unmuzzled Ox in Ithaca, and, and it was like a, a little coffee house run by a religious organization. So once a week, people would gather there and play tunes, and it was and there was no distinction then between Southern tunes and New England tunes and Irish tunes. People just played tunes, and uh, and they would often uh, so I'd play along on the few that I knew, or I'd play chords and. Every once in a while, people would turn to me and say, oh, you don't have to play on this one because everyone knows that you can't play uh, this kind of... You can't play jigs on claw hammer, you can't play Devil's Dream in claw hammer, or you mm -hmm. can't play this other tune in claw hammer. And I would nod my head and then I would go home and, and you know, spend a lot of time trying to figure things out and say, oh, wait a minute, you can do it. <laughs> so, That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, so that that's how it all started. At first, it was like a puzzle and a game, and then it became like just something that I loved, and, and uh, I just got a lot of satisfaction out of. 